Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's all about fashion and flavor on the show today. And you're probably wondering, what's for dinner? Because we haven't told you yet. Today, we're going to be making something so yum. You know your husband? Kidding. Don't throw him into the oven. He's a couch potato. We're using a sweet potato today on the show. And you're showing how to stuff it with some of the most incredibly decadent ingredients, including haddock. Exactly. So sweet potatoes are in season right now, so you should be having a lot of that. And fish. They're so in right now. Sorry, we're talking fashion. I have oh, to do it I'm at like, some oh, point. We were talking about it early on, right? <laughs> no, but re really, they are in season. We should be eating um, fruits and vegetables that are always in season. So, sweet potato, go for it. And we know the flavors, right? Sweet potato, kind of like immediately, it's going to be sweet. What I love combining is sweet and smoky. Mm. And haddock, super smoky, super delicious, beautiful flaky fish. So we're going to be using that today. So let's start with the haddock first. Great. So I'm using this guy over here. Did you have any memories of haddock? Nope, I've never actually had haddock. Well, I have as a child, but I don't remember any of the great memories of it all. I've I just, got a lot of childhood memories around like? haddock. Like haddock and cauliflower bake, haddock and a curry. It's so Ooh. good. Oh, haddock and a curry, yes. Yeah, that is one of the like ones. A smoky Warm curry. winter dishes with haddock it is. in it. Oh. It's super delicious. So, it's a nice salty fish too, right? It's got a slight saltiness to it, no, which is really it's great good. with this dish, which it lends that the saltiness helps out a lot. Good. So I put the haddock fillets into the little baking tin. Some people boil it in milk, like Sabrina milk, and that oh, extracts really? a lot of the smoky flavors, and then they use the milk in like a bake, for instance, to make the bechamel, which is quite cool. Really Lovely great to use it. Cool. So, a little bit of butter, it just adds a lot of richness A little bit of butter makes it better. And we're gonna top it with a little bit of water. So what we're doing is, we're gonna steam it as it cooks. So, I love using CEO's product, products because you can use it from raw. The fact that you sometimes have to wait for products to thaw out before you use them. It's not just from like raw, you mean from frozen, I assume. You said you can use them from raw, you mean frozen. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the words guy, you're the food guy. There we go. We make use a good it team. from frozen. Of course <laughs> use it from raw. Use it from frozen. So pop the little foil lid on, and then it goes into the oven for about 15 minutes at 200, or you can do it at 180, and it's going to be a little longer, like 20 minutes. 20, 25 cool. minutes. All right. So it comes out, super beautiful, super awesome, and then you let it cool down. And once it cools down, you can actually just take the skin off at the back. Oh, delicious. Which is so really, really all, easy, yeah, really cool. Fall off. So, Dan, what I'm going to ask you to do now mm. is... Nothing just yet. Cool. I'm going to actually ask you to help me with the sweet potato. So, do that. Just chop it up nice and rough. You can kind of just tear... You can flake it with your hand, which is really cool. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm looking for my sweet potatoes. Where my sweet potatoes go? So mad. Sometimes you know. So it's the middle of the week, guys. I'm sorry. It's like almost like Friday. I don't know where your sweet potatoes are. We must find them. I think someone actually took it off set. Someone got really hungry. Danilo, I think it was you. Oh, there okay, they cool. are. Okay, cool. What you do is just flake that in there. I'm going to ask you to scoop out some of the sweet potato and pop it into our bowl. Okay, so, so just the inside. Let's yeah, leave the skin just the on. Inside. How much? Actually, what, what, so we're going to refill it with our mixture. Okay. So leave a little bit in there. You don't want to make it too soft that like it kind of just falls apart. That's, That's fine. That's okay for now. So this goes in here, hey? That's right. So how do you prepare your sweet potato at home? I usually just bake it in the oven. So I'll dice it and bake it in the oven like that. Okay. I, I generally leave the skins on because I like the roughage, but... I like preparing them in the skins. That way you don't... You kind of like... All the excess moisture comes out yeah. and you get the beautiful fleshiness of the inside. So you leave them whole? Yeah, oh. I do. I like that. The skin goes nice and papery. I like eating um, the skin as well. And I like to... So going whole is perfect. Then my other tr um, trick is to take a sweet potato and do it in the microwave. And don't just put it in just like this. They do yeah. take quite a long time to cook. If you actually wrap it in some baking paper first, first, it steams. Oh, and wow. And it cooks in half the time. Really? Mm -hmm. That is such a great tip because also if you steam it in like just an open plate, like put a bit of water in there, it takes so long and then it's dry and like weird on the outside. So to put exactly. it in that is a great idea. That's okay. Did you know and that? You I can do. do that with normal potato as well. Okay. And um, any actual root vegetable as well. Just try that technique. It works really, really well. So, what we're we going to do, Dan, I'm going to help you out here for a little bit. Oh, cause mine, oh was I meant to do the rest of them? Yeah. Sorry, I was a bit startled. But like you said, it's Thursday. It's yeah. all crazy. My brain today. is already on the weekend. People Sorry. are kidnapping my sweet potatoes, hiding <laughs> them from me. <laughs> so, I want to keep those just like that. And then I'm going to chop up some chives for you. Cool. So, here's where you kind of like make the recipe your own. I like using chives because you don't want to add onion at this point because it's going to be just too harsh. Mm -hmm. Everything else is cooked already. So, your haddock's cooked and your sweet potatoes cooked. So, when it goes back into the oven, it's, uh, we're not going to be like, cooking it for very long. It's literally just to get a beautiful um, crust on the outside. Okay, cool. So, Chai, actually, can you tear some parsley in for me? Sure, I can. In, it, into like, this bowl or into here? Into the actual bowl. Into the mixture, right. So, we're going to tear some parsley. These are all the sort of fresh ingredients. You've got a nice smokiness going on with the haddock. You've got that uh, sort of earthiness with the sweet potato and that sweetness. Mm -hmm. Now, adding all the other dynamics, which is a freshness 
and then maybe that slight like what is what is onion? Would you describe onion, onion as a flavor? Onion gives you like a beautiful savory note. That savory I think, note. Soon, like I always go. say, as soon as you smell onions cooking, you know there's going to be an amazing dish on the way. Yeah. So I've got some pepper juice that I'm just chopping up. They're going to add a nice tagginess to it. It cuts through all those other flavors, and you're going to do a nice mash for me. Great. When do I start mashing? You can mash right now. Here you go. Cool. So the idea is we're going to mash and bring all these flavors together. Um, while you're mashing, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. Oh, these colors in here are amazing. Are you guys seeing this at home? First. That's why I love this dish so much. Oh, delicious. This is cool, yummy. Cool, cool, cool. You've got some serious mashing skills there. I can see you've been enjoying the cook-alongs. <laughs> exactly. Either the cook-alongs or it's been a lot of arms day, guns right, day cool. at the gym. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that filling and put it back inside the sweet potato skins. And then you're going to top it with a little more cheese and put these bad boys back into the oven at about 200 degrees, like I said, just to get that nice charry color on the outside. I like to finish garnishing up with a little more chive, but these guys are so, so amazing. They make the perfect snack, and they're also awesome to eat at room temperature. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So there's one of those things you can kind of bake and then leave overnight, and there's one of the things you can have for lunch, etc. after the next day, or perhaps even breakfast if you're one of those people like me who doesn't like to prepare too many meals. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to get this recipe on your mobile device, all the details you can get via an SMS. You SMS the keyword FISH to 33650. It'll cost you one rand fifty, and it's free SMSs don't apply. You'll be sent an SMS, it'll go bing, or, I don't know, bloop. Or like, if it's mine or whatever it is. And you'll get an SMS and on that SMS will be a link to the recipe and all the ingredient details. And if you've just tuned into the show and want to know how exactly we made these delicious treats, you can go check out this recap.